Well, as you see, I'm still building my ADOS set or corner or whatever. You know what I'm saying. I do my little ADOS messages and other things happen in this set. And uh, just so you know, remember, uh, th this is like a, uh, uh, this, this channel, my YouTube channel, is for archival purposes only. I do it for archive. You know what I mean? That's why I started the channel. So it's like my thing. It's like a living memoir, you know, a, a talking memoir. Other things like go my Instagram, I'd be messing around there too. But don't worry about that part. So a um, couple of things, you know, I finally got my normal radio thing. And like that, oh, I got something in the mail. Well, I, I ordered it. I shouldn't say I got something in the mail like that. And it's because uh, I've been, you know, after all these years, these little, these little hustles going on. And what they do is they try to get the Vietnam era veterans, you know, the Vietnam veterans, they try to get them to, you know, put some money into something because they realize we all boomers. We might have some money. I'm not one of those boomers. I'm like an outlier, outlier boomer. Anyway, and so they have all these things like, like for instance, oh, well, I told you before, my, my dog tags, but it's not it's the full dog tags. The real dog tags, you know, that only issued by the military. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> when I got the military, I lost my dog tags. I, I actually like my dog tags. Uh, but I also ordered this thing, this Vietnam uh, era, what is it, Vietnam vet, Veteran Lapel Pin, right here. I can't put them on. Right Let me put my glass. Sorry, I can't put my reading glass on. Hold on. What the heck am I doing? Oh, I got some other stuff, too, in the middle. I'll do that some other time. I'll show you that some other time. Uh, let me read this thing here. It's lapel. Oh, here. See? It's the pin right here. It's the lapel pin. You're supposed to put it on your lapel, you know? Like in fact, you're supposed to put it on your, uh, I guess, closer to your heart lapel. That 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 part right because that's the way the men do it. Ain't anyway, right? Put it on that lapel. I say, well, brother, how come you ain't putting no you put on top? Well, first of all, the only lapel I this is lapel. That's that's not that true. But it is true. I think it's the only thing I have right now. Let me read what it says here. Uh, oh, see, it first has has two sides. You see, like that's the side that you're seeing right there, like that. Uh huh. And there's a backside there too, right? Of course, if the pin is on, you can't see the backside, but that doesn't matter, I suppose. It says, uh, a lasting memento of the nation's thanks. The nation is thanking the Vietnam era vet. That would include me, right? Uh, and they, they have the, they break it down. The front, the front is that thing. The back has something on it too. Let's see what they said. Maybe they'll tell me what the back says. It says something. Okay. Uh, symbolism. They kept the, the symbolism of the, of the pen, right? Eagle, there's an eagle on there. The eagle represents courage, honor, and dedicated service to our nation. As one of the most recognizable and notable American symbols, it is embossed with distinction on numerous military insignia. Hey, you know, I served the nation, but here's, here's what I did, right? Let me tell you when I was in the service, what happened? I'll be, no, I ain't gonna be brief, this is my memoirs. <laughs> See, uh, oh gosh, see, I went into the military. Well, I went into the Air Force because I didn't want to go into the Army because they just fought her, you know what I mean? They just go there, whatever. Remember that thing, whole thing where Westmoreland was just sending people there just to see where, where the fire was coming from? Then, <laughs> hey, some of these military generals are crazy. Uh, I shouldn't say that. No, I should say that. Some of them are crazy. Um, um, but then, of course, the Navy I couldn't go there. My brother advised me not to go into that because uh, he was a merchant marine, but he was saying, like, he might be on a ship with, like, you know, like, to like two thousand, you know, white guys. They would <laughs> be like twenty five black guys. Well, so you know, that wasn't a good thing. And the navy, well, well, navy. Yeah, I don't know about the navy. No, no, I don't know about the navy. The navy said they had a like somehow they recruited a lot of navy from the from the southern southern white boys. Go figure, right? So the air force, their mission was to keep them flying, keep them flying. If you wasn't pilot you kept them flying you know so i was a lab technician right and that is a whole other thing because of um, the the protest from the NAACP civil rights kind of you know the, the, uh, when the country going up in flames you know because of, of the city because remember this is like like in 1969 well i got 1970 actually officially 1970 being in 1970 and uh because of that they, they herded a bunch of us together and say okay you're we're changing afsc you're you're going to be your, your, your job you know we i supposed to be like a flying nurse right they said no you're going to be a lab technician Matters to me. I just want to do the four years and get and get going because I was going back to theater. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what happens is I become a lab technician. Well, 
Yeah, because you know he insisted that black people get better jobs in in, in the military. So that's that was one of those. So thank you. But well, I I was protesting too. So I, thank you, Black Power Movement. Thank you, Black Arts Movement. Thank you for all the people, all the cities. Okay, yeah. Thank you for all the upheaval. I mean, they don't listen to nothing else. That's what happened. Okay, I'm sorry. I think I'm going there. Okay, what else am happening? Oh, so I'm saying, so the Air Force, but I'm on the lab technician. What I did was, uh, I never left the States, you know, so that's why I have some error, you know what I mean? I'm the Vietnam error. But even if you left the States, let me tell you something, man. I have, this is a big bone I have to pick. A lot of these military people, yeah, I, I served in Vietnam, you know, blah, 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 blah. And other people, you know, I, I, they, they just, they didn't, they left, they left, um, they didn't go in country. They didn't, they didn't go into Vietnam, but they were like in Philippines, Germany, whatever have you. They were stationed there and they never got to see action like that. I'm, I'm, st I'm in the States. I never left the States. But even, even, I'm saying even the people that did the kind of work, there should be some sort of gradation as far as, you know, they getting benefits, right? For instance, the most difficult job in my estimation, even though I wasn't there, is the army. And I guess, the reason not, I think it was the army. Army. Uh, tunnel rats, those guys. Now think, that's 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 a job. <laughs> Being a tunnel rat, you look at what that tunnel rat is. Okay, I'm, I'm going for that because, okay, the blue circle in this little pen is the color blue matches the canton, the canton, of the American flag, and signifies vigilance, uh, perseverance, and justice. Well, we got it. Justice thing. I don't know. We have it all. Mr. Neely Fuller would say that we we got justice happening here because that's we we're trying to produce justice. At least like some of us in the black community, you know what I mean? Well, some of us in the forward troops of black liberation. Justice as as fine, Mr. Neely Junior. is that justice is the um the guarantee that no one is mistreated, and those who are mistreated are you know, will get the most uh the most uh what compensatory the. the uh, the the most compensatory I'm saying compensatory uh, help possible, okay, okay, but that's justice. But they, that's that that I don't know how they define justice here. You ask people how they define justice, see what they say. Uh, uh, the circle shape and the blue color also match the official seal of the commemoration. Okay, it's commemoration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Laurel wreath. You know the thing that put they put around people's heads. You know what I mean? Laurel wreath, right? Uh, what is that? The time-honored symbol representing victory, integrity, strength. Sorry, continue. Stripes. The stripes behind the eagle represents the American flag. Stars. The stars represent the six allies who served, sacrificed, and fought alongside uh, uh, one another. Oh, I didn't. Well, I guess I didn't know it at the time. Australia, New Zealand. Isn't that like the same thing? Okay, no, maybe it's not the same thing. The Philippines. Uh, the Republic of Korea, I guess that would be South Korea. They okay, might say South Korea. Thailand, oh, in the United States. Oh, where was Canada? Don't they? Oh, uh, well, whatever. Okay. And because the French left, you know, they hightailed it out of there. Okay, anyway. A uh, message. Oh, here we go. This is the message here. A grateful nation thanks to, and honors you is in is embossed in black and closest to the heart of the wearer. Also, the official name of the commemoration is included to remind each veteran that this is a national initiative and the, the lapel pin is the nation's lasting memento of thanks. Remember, it's a national in initiative by, by this group here, right? But here's the interesting thing. Like I said, uh, when I was in the Air Force, uh, uh, instead of going beating up on people, boom, 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 or, or you know, well, I mentioned to keep them flying. I guess I had to keep them flying, but... I worked in medical things, so that was sort of kind of different. Plus, plus I knew how the war was going because, see, at McGuire Air Force Base, where our station, that's where all the blood went out to the, you know, to Vietnam. So, depending on the level of blood that was going out, you knew how the war was going. It wasn't going well. Anyway, uh, so what I did, because we had a lot of lab technicians, you know, what I did, I just convinced everybody, well, I, I started this, I started an initiative. They started, I started an initiative, and that was to, like, like the Black Panthers. I wasn't a Panther. Actually, I did a little writing for the Panthers. That's a long time ago. Um, but a tiny, maybe one paper was on. I don't know what I did too long ago. Uh, what I did is I had the lab. We we, we, we gave the community, the uh, Pemberton community around the edge, far up, way up, to, all the way to uh, uh, to Long Island, to uh, what, uh, the Rockaways, you know? The Black community, we tested them for uh, sickle cell and lead poisoning. Now, if you, if you, if you understand, if we we tested people for lead poison back then, 
and nothing smooth was done. Think of all these people that you see that, especially the black people, it's this to call mental problems, whatever they have. Remember, that's lead stays in your system. That messes you up. So all these reports of the flints and all the rest of these stuff with lead, lead, lead. We've been, they've been leading people since since the, since the seventies, since the early seventies that I know of personally. You know, I mean, at least we tested for lead and okay, you know the paint and all this. Anyway. Oh, that's it for that. And then it says WWE Vietnam War fiftieth commemoration. Oh, it's the fiftieth. Oh, I get. I don't know how to. Figure out. And oh, and then they get a little little, little thing here. Uh, the United States of America. A Vietnam War commemoration on behalf of a, of a grateful nation. Thank you for your service. My thing is that grateful nation, but also like a grateful communities and black communities and other communities that were tested, that I tested. So I, I throw it in as my name. And it's signed Major General Peter W. something Ward, Al Ward, Al Ward, U.S. Army retired. Oh, naturally, director, U.S. Army. <laughs> which is, go back to my beginning, which is why I don't put it on my pimp. I put it on my head because closer to my head, Air Force, you know, keep me flying. That's a little, you know, things for me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Oh, by the way, did you see? I got I got the little one back, you know, my grand nephew, right? He's the one with the power salute. He did that himself right there, right there, like that. So he's always over my, my right shoulder talking about, you know, whatever. He's always over my right shoulder. Also got my normal radio. Uh, my normal radio. Oh, that's not really shown. My normal radio flag back. I gotta put that someplace. I'll figure that out. Let's put it like that. Let's see what happens. I'll figure that out. I'm still working on the set. We'll see you later. Check you later.